Morning. This video is created by Web Subscription. In this video, you will learn that how we can create crystal reports in ASP.NET. First of all, I want to introduce yourself that what is crystal reports? Crystal reports are the third party tool to create reports in your application. Uh, this is a Microsoft uh, uh, report tool, so you can uh, implement it in Visual Studio easily. So let's discuss about the crystal reports that how we can create crystal reports in ASP.NET. This video is created by WebSoft Creation. For more videos, you can visit our website www.websoftcreation.co.in. Uh, to create your crystal report project, you have to create a data set. You can implement uh, this by, uh, by using two uh, controls like a data set or crystal report tool. Okay, so I'm not using them. I'm just taking uh, controls from the toolbox. These controls are crystal report source and the crystal report viewer. So to create a simple crystal report, you have to use the crystal report source. This source is used to com connect with your SQL server because I want that uh, SQL, uh, the crystal report tool should get the data from the SQL server. So I have to connect, I have to do connectivity with, with it uh, to the SQL server. So let's start. Uh, first of all, by, by uh, selecting your smart tag and uh, you have to select the configure report source. You have started it and uh, so, uh, and window has prompted over here. Uh, first of all, you have to create a new report. So select this the new report. You can put the report name EMP report. It is not necessary. It is a is a is a, is a optional uh, because uh, if you are noting uh, if you are not creating the report name, then uh, the default name will be create. Okay, so put okay. A new window will come here. I am creating a standard uh, crystal report. So there is no need to select anything. Then go to the create new connection. Uh, it's taking too much time because it's uh, very slow. Due to many softwares are working over here like Oracle and other controls. Okay, now you have to select the o OLEDB. This is the ADO provider. And uh, whatever server you are using, it may be a SQL server, it may be a Oracle server. If you are using Oracle server, then you have to select the Oracle OLED provider for Oracle. And if you are using SQL server, then you have to select the Microsoft OLED provider for SQL server. Okay. Now click on next. Here, you have to give your server name, whatever your server name is that. If you are using your live server, then you have to give, you have to put here the original server IP address and uh, give username and password but at here I am using the local server then I have to put my local server name that is dot SQL Express it is not mandatory to give here dot it may be possible that when you open your SQL server it will show some uh, some string over here it may be a your personal computer name or anything but if you are putting here the dot it means that you are working on the local server and there is no need to give your computer name okay now dot slash SQL Express it is your uh, local server IP address now put here in uh, integrated security it means you are using the Windows authentication after that you have to select employee employees are my database name then finish Okay, after click on finish, then you will find your database objects over here, like DVO. DVO stands for database objects. Now, I want to fetch data from the table EMP info. Then you have to expand this tree view control, the tables, and EMP info. You have to select it and click on this button. It will show your table name over here EMP underscore info. Okay, now if you want to show your some fields like find fields or uh, you can expand it like ID EMP name EMP F name EMP phone and EMP country select this button next 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 uh, you can use the available styles any style you can take it over here like I am using leading break okay now finish so your crystal report view has been created 
but if you want to implement in your application then you have to select uh, another control also that is crystal report viewer this control is used to show your crystal reports uh, source data in your viewer page okay now click on this uh, smart tag choose report source you have to select over here your crystal report source um, at here the crystal report source id is crystal report source 1 then i have to select uh, here the crystal report source 1 okay fine then you are seeing at the uh, at you are watching here that the table name and table data has been showed uh, over here now view in browser okay this is my crystal report output in this report you can take the report uh, print out by using this option that is the print option and in this computer is the uh, printer is not connected so it may it can't possible to take print from here so and if you want to convert this report in pdf file or document file then you can do it easily by click on export we have many formats like crystal report rpt format acrobat format ms word ms excel and uh, i am using the acrobat format pdf so this crystal report output will convert in pdf okay start download and you will see the output in PDF format. I will upload some other videos based on crystal reports. So please watch all of them. They are beneficial for you. Thank you for watching this video.